Corpus Best Translation is a more recent and fast growing approach to translation which employs corpus linguistics in translation. And researchers began to realize that electronic corpus can function as a reliable methodology in translation because it handles a wide range of textual resources. Uh, these corpora may reveal unnoticed features in both the source language and the target language examined, which could be language, culture specific or general. With the help of a corpus, we get something which is, could be new to the translator, unprecedented opportunities to study and contrast languages in use, including frequency distribution and stylistic uh, uh, preferences, corpora are absolutely essential for microlinguistic studies, but they will also enrich studies of lexical and grammatical patterns. I'll give you something, and this is good, could be theoretical, but let me talk about something I use practically. I have got that sentence which you can see, كان صحابة النبي نجوما تزين السماء. You can search for every single word in dictionaries. You can search, you can translate, use Google. It's up to you. But what I did, I used a concordancer. I used uh, some text, which I think they are reliable, authentic. And I wanted my translation to be more authentic. And also I want to use it to make it any, like a literary, uh, I use literary style. You can, uh, everybody can translate Sahaba into companions, and Nabi, Prophet, Nujuman, uh, stars, uh, Tuzayin, you can find out in dictionaries, it uh, could, could be beautify, could be Adon, could be decorate, uh, sama, heaven, could be sky. But to get to the literary usage, you need to check literary texts. How to find letter text, how to use letter text, you can upload the text, the letter text. I upload the letter text on, on the, on the concordancer, and then I can search on the possibility and the, the relationship between each word. I tried Sahaba, it doesn't exist because they don't have Sahaba. I tried, and it doesn't exist actually in, in the, uh, any literature. So, Nujuman. I used the word Nujum and the word heaven. I used the word sky first and then I changed to heaven. Look at what I, st I, I found. I found this from a, 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 literary, a, a, a book which is called The Mirror of Literature, Amusement and Section. I put just a wild card, a wild card which is like an uh, at uh, used in Gmail and uh, an email. I, I found this example. Beautiful stars gemmed the white conch of heaven, very any, refined. So I used the word gemmed for Tuzayin. I think this is more literary. I, how can I get to this style without these tools? And easy to get. It takes just a few seconds to get the, to the right. Even, I, I'm, even the English people cannot do that kind of style. They didn't have the, the style, unless they are any poets or uh, literary people or authors, but you know, our lay people, uh, English people cannot get to that style actually. They will think about easy, simple words, common words, but as a translator, it, it's up to you what to use. And this can be done, a piece of cake by technology.